Good morning, my name is Beth Furman. I am an English teacher here at Verbina High School. This is my co-teacher, Delaney Harris. Today we're going to be working with context clues, looking at informational text, and preparing our Unit 2 performance task. Let's get into it. All right, teams, we're going to look at who is going to be the first to wade through. Remember this from last class. What is wades? Do you remember? What do we do with our Newzella articles? Picking out terms. Do you guys remember that chart that we had? I see some heads nodding. Do you want to, what, would, what did we do with it? What did we look for? In the chart. You had the article, then you had to find what? Compare. And looking at the words, comparing them to the other words in there, right? Remember we had our word of the day that we found synonyms, antonyms. We looked at word pieces. Definitions. Defi there it is, yep, definitions. I know, it's early Monday. Yes, we looked at how we can understand vocabulary when it's an unfamiliar text and an unfamiliar word. And we had those five strategies. Here's what we're going to do. I need a table leader from each group that's going to be leading off the activity in your area. You are going to have a competition. We're going to give you the Wade's information. And as a team, you have to get it in the right order, the right way, correctly first. The winners are we getting our most extra credit points for their unit two performance task. Okay, are we ready for the challenge? Team leaders, meet me at the center, please. So you guys are gonna get the cards. Your job is to help your group get things in order. You also are in charge of your team buzzer. When you think, watching, when you think your team has it all right, you're gonna hit the buzzer to call one of us over, okay? So you have all the pieces to the weights chart that we looked at last time. You have definitions and examples, okay? Definitions, examples, and what waves are. Put them in order on the table. When you think you have it 100%, call us over. Ready? Go. Time starts now. Time starts now. Yep, take it to your group. Be nice. You can huddle in a little bit here. Does everybody get the gist of what you think you need to do? Oh, I like the divide and conquer approach there. Sir, nice, nice team leading you got there. This team's holding up close so no one can see their progress. Strong work. Mm -hmm. Think about what the warm up was called. What was the key acronym we used that will help you with your order? What was our acronym? What was the word that we served at the beginning of the activity? Starts with a W. Wait. So you know that's going to be your order, right? So maybe start off with ones that have the letters. Those are going to be your first column. Okay. So there's your there's your E. I see a D. So yeah. So you can put them all together. You can get up and come around if that helps. I like the team huddle. Yes. I know, and you're good. You're just dive right on in because this is what we'll do to help pick up and make up the difference, how we looked at what it all means. Yeah, good. Good work, Serena. I see your one row across the top is correct. Yep. And so, good. Yep, that is right. I'm going to give you one hint. Can I scoot in? I'm going to take this one and give you, this is going to name the row across. So you're going to have all the definitions that will go across. And then can I see those last two over there, context rows and examples? They're going to go down here. So like under each, do you see it now? You see it? There we go. And then the example. So you don't need this one. You have those two. So that's how you're going to go across. All right? Team, corner teams on a roll. I'm going to scoot in. I'm going to give you one hint. Excuse me, Jackson. I'm going to take, yep, you're good there. And then, yep, and then you're going to have definitions going across. And then hit me that example one. Yeah. These are going to be your, well, that one goes back that way. So look here. So you have your context clue. It's going to be your column. And then your row of definitions. And then a row of examples. Does that make sense? Is that visually you see it? Yes, All right. So, okay, so unlike Jamal's room, which was immaculate, 
Jeffrey's room Did was messy. So we have an unlike, if I'm talking about your room was immaculate, it's totally clean. His room's messy. What kind of thing am I using here? Antonym, definition, example, or synonym? Well, if I'm using antonyms, exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's going to go under antonyms for that one. I'm going to stick this one, give you a hint. It's going to go right there because that names that column. And then that names your row. I'm just going to switch those around. Those are your examples. And then your definitions will go that way. Does that make sense? You see it? You see it? Hens are huddled. Work is happening. Do we see it? Does it make sense? Oh, I hear a buzzer. Is that the same? Do you guys have it? Oh, no. That wasn't you guys. OK. It's a false alarm. Yeah, yeah. Make sure I was listening. Got it. All right, pulse check. Each team can request a hint. So if you would like your hint, hit your buzzer, and one of us will come over. All right. You would like a hint? So I mean, look at what we have. So this one is says opposite or contrast. So what do you think that's the definition of? If we're looking at the opposite, which one? You have antonyms. Yep. So that's going to go there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, spread them out a little bit. And then let's look at, which other ones did you have? Let me see if you got other ones are right. It's talking about the root here, right? Look at the clues within the cards that you have. That's going to help you with it. Did you request a hint? No? OK, bye. <laughs> if you want a hint, call me back over. <laughs> oh, oh, we're almost there. You see it? We're almost there. Oh, we got to hit the buzzer. The rest of you keep working in case anything's wrong. Yes. 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 Okay, back team wins. Keep going, you guys are still competing for the next level of points. Yes, so what I'm gonna, if you could bag these up, I'm going to give you an index card. Team leader. Yes, you may. Take a picture of your winning list. Winning list. All right. So team, I just need all names on here. I just put me group, put group number one at the top. Nice, nice work. All right, it's down to two. We ready? You ready? We look, see what we have. Word part. So this one is giving, this is an example for another one. Okay, so we have similar meaning. So similar is going to be what? Synonyms, yep. Okay, so you have, this one's right. Define directly. So like each under each one, you should only have two cards. Okay, so I'm just going to take out opposites, right? Descriptions. Okay, so there we go. Just got to fill those in. Keep going. We're almost there. You're almost there. All right, team one. Yep, names on the paper. And then you can head back to your seats. You'll need your computer. Yeah, I need a group name. Be creative, please. Do we got it? Group two. Strong work, OK? Give me a group name and all your group members and your group two. We have it? All right. We're good. I need a group name. All your group members on the paper and put on the little baggie. Let's look at what we have and make our connections. Okay, perfect. We need phone, um, phones away and computers out. Yeah, computers out. Go ahead to Schoology. And we'll come around and collect. Okay, so take a look at your nearest screen, not the phone screen, the board screens. 
you, the next step, step, you may need your phones during the stations, but we'll get into that. So let's make these connections. We need vocabulary when we're reading, but as you get into writing, and especially with your technical terms, how to break down tasks, how to use it in informational text, that's important as well. So it's not just a reading skill. This is going to help you become better writers because we want to have vivid vocabulary, right? Now, let's ask this question. How would you teach someone a skill and the vocabulary specific terms they need to understand that skill? How would you do it? If you were the teacher for the day for that skill. How are you going to teach somebody how to do something as well as the vocabulary they need to understand it? How would you do it? Give them examples. How else would you do it? Huh? Flashcards, yeah. How else would you teach someone? Say again? Explaining each word in detail. Okay. How else would you explain and teach someone else? Giving visuals, right? And visuals could be pictures or it could be you showing them how to do it, right? So think about that as you get into our learning focus for today, okay? Here's what you're going to need to be able to do. You're creating your own informational resource guide by using the strategies we just talked about to explain your technical terms so that you can teach someone else something that's connected to our theme, okay? So remember what our theme was from last class. We watched or listened to, listened to and read Monkey's Paw and then New Zella articles. It's all about what? We talked about the questions, the decisions people make in order to. Start with an S. Our word with apocalypse for our warm up. Start with an S. And then we got into our survival guides, right? What choices are you making to be in a positive situation to where that you can survive. The New Zella articles had a lot of different themes, right? The CDC article on how to survive a zombie apocalypse. And that's kind of our anchor text for what you're working on. You're going to work on your performance task, which is going to put you through different areas. You're going to be working with Ms. Harris and I at the table. We're going to have this board for you to work on your timelines or graphic organizers. We want everyone up at the board. You're going to be able to collaborate with your team at your tables. Look up here, and here's the guide of how you're going to put all this together. Okay? So you can see the central idea is making that how to guide. And there are different steps that you're going to follow to make sure you have a complete guide that others can understand that you can teach. It's up to you what your topic is. Even if you at your table decide to choose the same topic, you all will turn in your own visual. Now, someone said, you know, they would make visuals, they'd write it out. You can also create a video, make a flip grid. You can make a poster. However you present it is totally up to you because we all learn in different ways, right? So think about other learners, think about yourself as you're putting all this stuff together. Ms. Harris and I are going to be working with you while we're brainstorming up on the cabinet. We are going to be doing our timelines and then doing our vocabulary here. Questions? So at the end, what is your end product going to be? What are you going to be turning in at the very end? What should you have by the time you get through all these stations and areas? Like a poster or a presentation, a how-to guide, right? Mm -hmm. You're teaching somebody how to do something. And you'll come up with the topic of what you want to teach somebody to do based on the articles that we've read um, and other stuff that we're going through today. And we do have a brainstorming area. If you're not sure what topic to choose, I'll be back here and we can map up some ideas and think about what we need to do, okay? If you were not here for last class, I'm gonna set you up with the directions on the screen on the side so that you can get caught up so you're in the same place where everybody else is, okay? Pulse check, everybody good? We know what we need to do. We know where to go. Make sure you ask us questions, okay? I'm excited to see your how-to guides and what you guys come up with linked with our theme for Survivor. I need some new survival skills. Are you guys ready to teach us? All right, get start working on your performance task. It's in unit one performance, unit two performance task is in the week seven folder. So go ahead and access that. Yes, unit two performance task. And you're gonna open up the slideshow and it's gonna walk you through all the information and directions that you might need. Okay, Jackson, Schoology.
Do you, can, do you have to go in order in the slideshow? No. Absolutely not. Yep. So if you want, anyone starts at number three. Ms. Harris, if you want to start pulling some people over to three, we can start working through that one. You want to go? Yeah. We have a volunteer for threes coming on over. So Anybody else from this table? Me, bring your pencil with you. Yep. So go to the center to work with Ms. Harris. Do we have some? Yes. Hmm? Mask up. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to start with number three, you can go to the center with Ms. Harris. She's going to work through that one with you. Yeah. Number four, you're going to come over here and use the whiteboard. Let's clear that out. Let's get a new one. So let's look at our new. All right. Does anybody have a topic and they're ready to start outlining and brainstorming? Or are we still thinking? Thinking. All right. Let's look at. Yeah. Let's look at. There we go. All right. So this one is set up for two people can come work at this board at the same time. And you can add your own information and organizers. The thing we've been doing is disconnecting and then give it a little bit of time and then connecting it back together. Okay? That's been the best way we found to, to do that one. Let's see. Whenever we're ready to work at the whiteboard, I have it ready to go for two people. Okay. Not anymore. Oh, that's an easy. I open up a new one. And we should be toggle it. And then it should be another one. We'll get it straight. Once people come up here, I'll get it straight. Ah, boom. Now we need to expand it. There we go. Thank you. We have some topics, some ideas. Topics and ideas, Troy phone. Go to manage checking our resources. So you're gonna for this one, you're gonna want to start at Newzella and then come back into that and before you finish this piece. So this is like the final piece of the unit. So you can go back and then work on that. Thanks for coming into our class today. We hope you enjoyed visiting us here at Verima High School. Yeah, so you're gonna go back.